Okay, so we start off with a left-hand side parting. Uh, we part it exactly where the guest is going to wear it, uh, and then we work diagonal back partings right after that, and then we start cutting it right at the jawline. So this is a chin length, uh, one length bob. So that is what is trending. That's what they're saying is going to be huge in 2024. So if we want to cut it at jaw length, then let's just start in the front and work our way back. That just makes things a lot uh, more simple. So working our way back. And then as I get that section cut, then I bring down another section. I'm taking diagonal back parting. So I'm really just following uh, the head shape and working my way back. Uh, it just keeps everything nice and clean. And obviously you're working with different densities in the front and the back. So we start high in the front and then that diagonal back line uh, goes lower in the back because the density is higher. You wouldn't want to just run horizontal all the way across. So, uh, but speaking of horizontal, we're cutting a horizontal blunt line all the way through. And then I just continue working and I'm working all the way to the half point in the back. So uh, that midpoint right in the center back is where I stopped. That's where I sectioned everything off because I really want to focus on the weak side. And then we'll go in and we're going to focus on our strong side next. So you can see I'm letting down the strong side. Now where things change, we already started in the front. We determined our length. We've got that all going, right? So I don't want to go back to the front and then guess at what side and look back and forth. Um, it just is easier for me to just continue that line through. So I start now taking diagonal forward partings on the right-hand side because that just allows me to continue following that line. Again, uh, we're working with a higher density in the nape area. So just taking small sections, working my way through, keeping my eyes parallel to the section and uh, cutting the line. All right, so uh, again, the most important thing is just taking small sections to work through it. Um, you can see every time I bring hair down, I bring down a new section. You can see right through it. I can see that guideline easily. Um, that is key to making sure that you have success in this haircut. So uh, the struggles I had when I was a younger stylist with this cut and sometimes still have uh, would be making sure that my line is flat, um, parallel with the floor when I'm cutting. And if that's my intention, keeping it that way. And then also, you know, just making sure you keep that guideline as you go through and making sure that both sides set um, the same length, of not having one side longer than the other. So um, as you look at it here, uh, you know, I'm going through the ways that I keep this consistent is making sure that my guideline um, is about 75% of the new section. So the new section, uh, just m nice and thin and working through, you can see it here. Uh, you can see right through it. So it's an easy guideline to follow. Also, if you take down too thick of a section, um, because maybe you feel like you can see your section through it, um, some of the mistakes that happen there are that you have too thick of a section and as you go to cut it, it just pushes it. And anytime you push hair, um, you're going to get uh, a line that's not quite straight. So, and you might not see it in the wet cut. You might have to, you might see it once you dry it and now, uh, you've got a lot of work to do to try to recover from this cut. It takes a lot more time in the salon. And then we all know time uh, is money in the salon. So making sure that as we work through this, we're working efficient, uh, getting the result that we're looking for and not rushing um, to make sure that we get the cut right. So you can see nice balanced sides. Now what I do is I elevate everything straight up in the air and I use my Blend 20 Elite Scissor. This is our FSE Elite Series Scissors. Um, I use that, takes out 20% of the hair, just softens the edge. So when you think about a blunt bob and how it lays uh, kind of down and heavy, uh, that's okay and we don't want to layer it or anything, but I do like to add a little softness to the edge. So by lifting that hair up on both sides uh, and cutting it flat with the floor, uh, you're still keeping your horizontal line parallel to the floor, but you're just getting a nice lightweight line. Now I go through, same thing, Blend 20 Elite here, um, and I just work the edges of that interior part of the bob. So what I'm doing is I'm just softening, just taking out a little bit of extra weight in there. That is a great tip for uh, when you're going in, cutting a bob. You don't want to mess up your line. You don't want to layer it, but it feels a little bit thick and heavy. Uh, this is a great way to do it. So I go about two inches up, work that blending scissor through, then about an inch up, and then about a half inch, and just softly work through it. You can see when I let everything out, it disappears, but you've got a little less weight, a little less heaviness in the haircut. That caters to this detail work that we do at the very end here with our Precision Elite Scissor. Uh, 
You can get all these scissors on freesaloneducation.com. Don't forget that if you want to support the channel. Um, but using the Precision Elite on dry hair, get that detail, that crisp line. And then I go in with my Hybrid Elite, my dry cutting scissor. So I bring that over and I just do a tease cutting technique with the Hybrid Elite uh, dry cutting scissor. Uh, when I do that over direction, over top of the parting and the tease cutting, it softens the line but creates that angle. So you over direct it to one point, you cut everything at one point, it's gonna push everything away from that point, right? So using the Hybrid Elite, uh, nice tease cutting technique, you can see that fringe you get. Also, shout out to Dyson, I use the Dyson Air Wrap to get that fringe to kind of flip out a little bit, and then a little extra detail work uh, with my scissor there. And you can see there's our one length bob. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. Also, make sure you check out our online store, freesaloneducation.com. You can get all the scissors that you saw on here, the Elite Series scissors. We've got Pro Series scissors for students, so check that out. We've also got uh, a new Pixel Elite scissor coming out. It's dropping next week, so if you guys want to check that out, it's a gold, uh, beautiful, precision-cutting uh, masterpiece. So go check it out. Uh, freesaloneducation.com, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. I'll see you guys on the next video.